My name is Frank Jacob. I'm a professor at marketing at uh, ESCP Business School. I'm Lyle. I uh, originate out of uh, South Africa. I made my way over to Europe straight afterwards to, to play hockey, to study, to, to learn Dutch as well as I was in, uh, in Belgium. And uh, yeah, not long after, I ended up finding my way to, to ESCP. Um, so in my uh, first year of the Masters in International Sales Management program, and uh, thoroughly enjoying it so far. So uh, nothing to complain about at all and very grateful and privileged to be sitting here today. Uh, what motivated you to go for this specific specialization, sales? I think I've always known that I wanted to have something quite concrete behind myself. And uh, I initially did a, a bachelor's program in international business management, which of course is in the name itself is quite broad. I really wanted to be able to specialize myself a little bit further so that if I really wanted to go into something, I'd have something very strong to lean on. Um, so for me, it was, a, it was more than just doing a, a MIM program or an MBA, but to really specialize into something. So it instantly drew my attention and it was something that looked very interesting, a bit diversified over two campuses, uh, very um, well international, of course, with a lot of students from everywhere. And that really drew me as an international to the program. And I thought that I'd be able to get a lot from it and also hopefully offer quite a bit to the program as well. In addition to uh, your professional experience and also to your education so far, there's a strong hockey dimension in your life. Yeah? Can you tell us, uh, uh, you know, can you, can you give us some more details and tell us a little bit uh, about that background and that part uh, of your life? Um, so it started off when I was, uh, I think, in the age of about 13 and I was selected for the provincial team and then made it to the, the national uh, high performance squad as, as a youngster, which was really quite a big boost in my, in my hockey career. Um, I was then uh, able to attend uh, Kersney College uh, Boys School. So that really boosted my, my hockey career from there. And I think within two years or two years to go before the end of high school, I was really set on going to, to Europe. And uh, for me, Belgium was a natural choice um, because that was where my, uh, my grandfather came from. And then uh, well, I was able to do an exchange semester in the United States. Not long after that, I ended up working in, in Brussels and uh, I got given the opportunity to also work and play in a Brussels club. And then after, well, after about a year and a half in, in, in Brussels, I wanted to take a, a next step um, and push myself further. And I took on the, the challenge of coming to ESCP, to the, to the MISM program. And uh, just before I arrived here, uh, the head coach of the Berliner Hockey Club sent me a, a message asking if I'd be interested. And, and uh, after a bit of negotiation, we were able to come to a form of agreement. Um, and uh, yeah, I was able to then continue my coaching career for a Bundesliga club here in, uh, in Germany, in, in Berlin, of course. Do you also see any parallels, any synergies between those two? Certainly we know that uh, well, hockey in itself is a, a very big team sport. Oh. You're only as strong as your, as your weakest member. And I think uh, that probably plays a big role in any sales team or sales organization. Mm -hmm. um, everybody needs to be able to pull their weight and uh, it, it only functions as good as the, as the weakest player. And uh, I think there's, there's probably a very big psychological part in all of it as well. The mental tough game and I think as a salesperson you probably need to be very confident. The sales team needs to be confident. And I think if your confidence is only based off your success, mm -hmm. then uh, for me, that's a f that would be a failing confidence because if your confidence only goes in waves, then if you aren't performing well, your confidence mm -hmm. dips. Maybe one more question. You're also a coach. Do you also see any, any parallels on that level? The, the, the coach perspective, is that also applicable? You are the one that gives the confidence to the players. They look to you uh, when, there's, when things aren't going well and it's really important to, to trust the process. As a coach or as a leader, um, your leadership style is very important. You have to be able to deliver the message confidently, calmly. And uh, I think the, the players very, very much feed off your aura that you give off. Very interesting to, uh, to listen and uh, to think about, absolutely. Uh, Lyle, so there are those two dimensions. Will you need to decide for one direction or is, do you think there could even be a future uh, for, for the two things uh, continuing to be important in your life? I very much in, in enjoy the, 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 the hockey and I think hockey will always be a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. It might not be so much as a coach going forward, mm -hmm. but maybe I'll find other ways to grow hockey as, as a sport. Um, that's something that I, th I really am quite passionate about. So. Not sure how that will look in the future, but it's something that I'd very much like to, to push um, and just yeah, grow hockey, whether it's further in Europe or even in, in South Africa, mm -hmm. um, back home. Lyle, do you have any, any recommendations yeah, for people probably a bit younger than you? Yeah? Uh, stepping out of your comfort zone is, well, at least for me personally, it's where I've always grown the most. Um, so I would actually suggest probably before joining the program, try and find somewhere to work at for a year, half a year 
get uh, some real world experience. Being able to do all of that before meant that when I arrived here, I had a different perspective and I also had a lot more to offer to the program and also to my classmates. I think the peers in your class, they're very lucky to have you in. Many of them have talents and uh, different experiences, but I think this is also one of the great benefits uh, students uh, could acquire from uh, joining a school like ESCP that uh, tries to attract uh, talents from not only from different countries but also from different domains. No, certainly I think uh, one of the highlights of, of being in ACP so far is just the diversity. It was always a, a challenger and I would always jump into something before really thinking about it and uh, ask questions later. Mm -hmm. And I think since joining uh, ESCP the potential of the class and of the, of, of the school is, is, is profounding and it's, it's, it's actually so special to have a project or, or, or any discussion in class and sit back and just listen to what other people have to say and what they can offer because their perspective and their outlook is vastly different to that of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's where I've been able to learn so much from. Mm -hmm. So f for that, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful experience and just watching everybody else grow at the same time and feeding off everybody else is, is, is really what makes this program so different, I think, to many others. Thank you very much one more time, Lyle, for being here with us and uh, for sharing all of that. Oh, thank you, Professor.